والله اتس فيري ديليشيوس اند اولسو اي كام وذ ماي فاملي وكل يوم افري تايم انا كام هير ايت مشكاش Hi guys, my name is Eva and we are here today by the food trucks at the Azeba Beach Road. Now, if you've lived in this country long enough, you would know that this area is the quintessential Omani picnic spot. Having grown up here myself, I can tell you when I was young, the only thing that was here was one food truck that sold cotton candies and sweet corn. Over the past couple of years, Omanis have embraced the street food culture with open arms. Now, as more and more food trucks are popping up in different parts of the country with their own takes on grills, burgers and fries, there is one particular delicacy that stands out as the people's favorite. That's right, it's mishka. Now all of these food trucks behind me are family owned businesses. So most of these family owned businesses have their own secret ingredients and their own secret recipe which is going to be almost impossible for me to get. So that's enough chit chat for now. Let's head on over to the food truck and see what they have in store for us because I am salivating. So we're here right now with Ibrahim who is one of the owners of this Mishkak joint. Can you tell me uh what made you start this business and for how long have you been running this? Uh actually first we have started 3 years back okay with my brothers and this is a family and friend business. And the other thing uh, the food truck stalls was not that popular back uh, in Oman. So we have started this thing okay and it got popular now. People loves food, loves Mishkak. Actually we have very good place on the beach. Okay, most of the people loves to hang out with their family and friends. Having been born and raised here, I can tell you that this area is one of the best spots to hang out with friends and family. And this brings me to my next question. Yes. Can you tell me what difficulties you faced since you've started this business? Actually, at the beginning it was very hard because uh, not that people were uh, into the food trucks, okay? But uh, slowly we started to grow up and then in back in 2021 the covid hit us. and that time during the lockdown we had to close down the business which uh, affected but nowadays it seems uh, everything is becoming normal completely agree i cannot wait to try your mishkak so enough chit chat i'm going to go and try some of his mishkak so we're here right now with mohammed and nader who are loyal customers of this mishkak joint Yeah, Mr. Muhammad, can you tell me a little more about what you had and how you enjoyed your experience here? Uh, chicken, the uh, dajaj, the lamb, the ribian, the habbar. Uh, I loved a lot, a lot of lamb. I loved it a lot, and it was beautiful. I'm from Saudi, and this culture I lived in Oman. وبالعكس كانت المشكاه هذه جميله جدا وحبيتها وكل يوم افري تايم انا كام هير ايت مشكاش ثانك يو سو ماتش اي ام نوت ريلي ويل ورست وذ عربيك بس اي ثينك هي سيد سمثينغ اون ذا لاينز اوف ذا فود از جريت اند هي از سعودي اند هي كمز هير بيكوز هي لافز ذا فود اند هي لافز مشكاه سو اي وانتد تو اسك يو كان يو تيل مي هاو يور اكسبيرينس واز ان ذس مشكاك جوينت Well, it's very delicious, and uh, also I come with my family sometimes. And the weather now, you know, huh? need some mishkak and uh, <coughs> some fast food also. So we're here right now with the owner of Bab Salim, Mr. Salim. So tell me, Mr. Salim, how long have you been running this business, and what made you get into the food truck business? Uh, actually, now we are running about ten years. 
and uh, everything going well alhamdulillah can you tell me since you've been in this uh, business for over 10 years now if you had to give advice to young omanis who want to start a food truck business what advice do you have for them yeah, my advice uh, better if uh, they want to opening because uh, first if you, they, they don't have any work this is the best work to opening but you must work hard but first things you must to be happy with the job thank you so much yeah. thank you so much for having me here i cannot wait to try your food and we've heard it from the best he's a veteran in this business 10 years and still running so he says hard work pays off it has been an absolute pleasure hanging out with these wonderful people and trying their mind blowing food i will come back hungry for more for now i'm going to sign out join me next time on another episode of eat out where we discover more exciting food